What's up guys? We have tested many budget projectors on our channel Tech Brothers, and you know most of them are good for home theater. However, budget projectors most often do not have smart operating systems, so you need to connect an external device like a TV stick to watch streaming services. I prefer projectors with smart systems because all you have to do is press the power button, go to the app you want and watch a movie or a show. I have one of these projectors called Goody YG 600 Movie. It has a built-in Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube, and you can also install any apps. Other features of this projector include 1080p native resolution, 4K support, 800 anti-lumen brightness, and up to 400 inches screen size. By the way, the price of Goody YG600 Moving is $899 on Amazon, but if you join Amazon Prime, it will only cost you $269. You should also note that the projector comes in different models such as YG600 Moving, YG600 Plus and YG600. They have a similar design but differ in features. I have top of the line model Goody YG600 Moving and I will tell you all about it in this video. Let's start by unboxing. The front of the box is very bright. Here we can see an image of the projector as well as Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube and Dolby Audio. And there is also a small specifications table on the back. Inside the box is a carrying bag. This is very good, because you can carry the projector with you everywhere. When you open the bag, you will first find the user manual and cleaning kit in the side pocket. Then we have a remote control, power cable and HDMI cable. Finally, we can take the projector out of the bag. You know the Goody YG600 Moving is not very compact, but it has a very nice rounded shape. The projector reminds me of the PlayStation 5, doesn't it? I really like the black and white color combination. Overall, we can see that the manufacturer has paid attention to the design of this projector. There is a lens under the plastic cover and IR receiver on the front. The entire front panel is covered with decorative holes, but they have no functionality because the coolant windows are on the sides. The air intake is on the right side of the projector, and you can even remove the filter and clean it from dust. The air outlet is on the left side. We can also see a speaker here. All the ports and connectors are on the back, such as audio jack, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, USB 1, USB 2, IR receiver and AC power. The Goody YG600 Moving Projector has manual focus adjustment and keystone correction. You can use two wheels on the top for that. There are also control buttons on the top, but I think it is more convenient to use a remote control. By the way, the remote control is very good. We can use it to adjust the focus, as well as quickly to go Netflix, YouTube and Prime Video. You know the Goody YG600 Moving leaves me feeling like I am using an expensive flagship product. It has good build quality, an attractive design and a nice remote control. I really like this projector so far, but let's turn it on and look at the smart system. One of the main features of the Goody YG600 Moving projector is a smart system. It is not an Android TV, because when I logged into my YouTube account, I saw a Linux device. However, it is very similar to Android. On the homepage, we can see pre-installed apps such as Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, YouTube Kids, Settings, App Store, Resource Manager, Screen Mirroring, Open Browser, and My Apps. If you go to My Apps, you will find Bluetooth Mode, E-Manual, and App Assistant. By the way, this is the first time I have seen an e-manual on the projector, and it is very helpful, because you can read the device description, connection introductions, and system settings. Back on the home screen, I found a menu with a new Netflix shows at the top. It looks like the projector is really certified by Netflix. Now let's go to the settings. First, we have network and internet, where we can connect to a Wi-Fi network. There is also a Bluetooth menu, so you can connect an external device to the projector. If you connect a device to the HD my port, for example game console, you will see it in this menu. In the picture, we can only change picture mode. There are also display and sound settings on this projector. It's very convenient to choose video picture mode, because you can see how the image changes. Sound modes include standard, vivid, movies, music, news and sport. The system menu has system information. 
language. Data and time, software update, USB disk upgrade, and a Netflix certification. I also found an App Store or a NetRange app on the homepage. Let's see what it is. It seems to be an app with all kind of content. There's a Plex streaming service with certified content, such as live TV, movies and shows, etc. All content here is free. You can also go to teach you tune goggles and play cartoons for your child. There are even some games available in the app. They are very simple. So if you want to play real games, it is better to connect your game console to a projector. Goody YG600 Moving Projector also supports screen mirroring. Let's see how it works. First, you need to go to the Screencast Assistant from the homepage. I have an iPhone, so I will go to the Magic Cast. Now just take your smartphone, go to Screen Mirroring and select the projector. That's it. By the way, this projector seems to have the lowest latency of any I have tested. I think you can even play mobile games on the projection screen. I have already told you that Goody YG600 Moving supports Bluetooth, so you can connect an external speaker to the projector. However, you can also connect a smartphone to the projector and use it as a Bluetooth speaker. For that, go to My Apps on the homepage and then enter Bluetooth Music. And now you can take your smartphone, go to Bluetooth menu and select the projector. If you start any music on your cell phone, it will be played on the projector. You know the Goody YG600 Moving has a built-in dual 5W speaker, so it makes sense to use a projector as a Bluetooth speaker for your smartphone. Let's listen to some more songs. Before we move on to the projection quality, I want to measure the fan noise. So the noise level near projector is about 51 decibels. If you step back 1 meter, the noise will be 43 decibels. I think it is very good for a projector with high brightness and a smart operating system. When I turned on the Goody YG600 moving projector, I noticed that it had a very nice throw ratio. Of course, it is not an ultra-short throw projector, but it makes a big screen in a short distance. I placed it about 2 meters away from the wall, and the projection size is about 80 inches. In general, the projector supports from a 40 to 400 inches screen size. I don't have such a big white wall at home, but I can show you an Example. I think this is about 300 inches. You can see that the image is as good as it is on 80 inches. The image is very clear and that there are no blurred corners or edges, unlike other budget projectors. By the way, the manufacturer claims that the Goody YG600 Moving Projector uses 4.5-inch 1080p screen, while most other projectors come with 2.6-inch or 3.5-inch 1080p screens. It provides higher clarity and brightness. Talking about the brightness, it has 800 nc lumens. Unfortunately, I can't verify it now, but the projection is very bright. For example, the new Wonka movie is pretty dark, but we can even make out details in the corners. In general, the projector allows you to watch any content on it, including movies, TV shows, sports matches, nature, etc.
when people say poor. No, I... Sammy Walker, the message. Do not accept problems in this town! You're gonna... Isn't it beautiful? This is awesome! Oh, maybe we should go say hi. Hey, then. Yeah, talk to a girl. A girl? He wants to marry her. What? Could be kind of fun. There's no way we can convince anyone we actually like each other. Trust me. As a main feature, some of the new show me wireless earbuds are 46 decibels active noise cancelling, noise reduction, and transparency modes. This is the Audi RS e-tron GT, a car I know very well. It's becoming smaller. Hot on the heels of the EX90 comes this, the Volvo EX30. New, latest and greatest iPhone 15, and nothing inside is new. You know, it is not even a problem to play games or watch shows in a room with lights. Yes, the colors are not as saturated as in a total darkness, but you can still see the projection well. So the Goody YG600 Movin is one of the best projectors I have tested in 2023. First, I like its design, which reminds me of the PlayStation 5. The rounded shape and the combination of black and white colors are very attractive. Unlike other budget projectors, it has very nice remote control with buttons to quickly go to Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube. The projector doesn't run on Android TV, and that may be even better, because there is a net range up with free content. Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube are already installed, and all you have to do is log into your accounts. I would also like to mention the high-quality dual speakers with Dolby Audio support. The sound quality is very good, so you can even use a projector as a Bluetooth speaker for your smartphone. The Goody YG600 Movin supports a very big screen size, up to 400 inches. I test the projector at 300 inches, and the image quality is just as good as at 80 inches. Overall, the picture quality of the new Goody projector is very decent. To be honest, I am a little confused about the price, because it is $899 on Amazon. But if you join Amazon Prime, then you can buy the Goody YG600 Movin for $269. For this price, the projector is very good. I will leave the link in description under the video. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!